Carbocations are compounds that have a positively charged carbon atom somewhere in the compound. Before I get into this topic, I want to tell you that this is pronounced carbo for carbon, cation for positively charged ion. A lot of students want to pronounce this carbocation, and it drives me nuts. This is a carbo or carbon cation. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to uh, compare or rank the stability of different types of carbocations. The stability of a carbocation depends on what is attached to the positively charged carbon. So for example, we could have a carbocation, very small and simple carbocation that is a carbon atom with three hydrogens attached, and then of course you have to have the positive charge on the carbon atom. This particular carbocation is called the methyl carbocation, and that name should make sense to you because it has just one single carbon in it. The methyl carbocation is the absolute least stable carbocation. So this, we're going to like rank stability like this, and this methyl carbocation is the absolute least stable of all possible types of carbocations. The um, carbocations increase in stability as we replace hydrogen atoms with alkyl groups or carbon chains. So for example, we could have, let's just replace that hydrogen that I kind of circled. Let's replace this hydrogen over here with, let's say we replace it with a methyl group. The carbon in the middle is still positively charged. Having a just one alkyl group attached to the positively charged carbon increases the stability of that carbocation and it's additive so as we add more alkyl groups or carbon chains to that center carbon the carbocation gets even more stable the most stable type of carbocation is one that has three alkyl groups attached to the central carbon, so three alkyl groups, and no hydrogens at all attached to this central carbon. So this is the most stable type of carbocation. Um, so for, for these three different types of carbocations that I drew, I drew very specific carbocations. What we want to be able to do is generalize this comparison to all different types of molecules. It actually doesn't matter what the alkyl group is that happens to be attached to the positively charged carbon. Any alkyl group increases stability. So what we're going to do is erase these methyl groups that I attached to the molecule, and we're going to replace that with the letter R. In organic chemistry, we use the letter R, we'll put this down here, to represent some sort of alkyl group, like a methyl, which we had in our drawings, or like an ethyl group, CH2, CH3, or anything, any kind of alkyl group at all. So we can replace these methyls with just the symbol R to represent alkyl group, and this allows us to have a generalized ranking of carbocations. Anytime we have one or two or three alkyl groups attached to the, the central carbon, it increases the stability. We have names for these different types of carbocations uh, based on how many alkyl groups are attached to the central carbon. If we have one alkyl group attached, we call that a primary carbocation. If we have two, it is called a secondary. And if we have three, it is called a tertiary. And obviously we can't have four because if we put a fourth alkyl group on here, it wouldn't be a carbocation anymore. So we wouldn't be talking about it. And we also have abbreviations for primary, secondary, and tertiary. 
Primary is abbreviated 1 with a degree symbol. Secondary is 2 with a degree symbol. Tertiary is 3 with a degree symbol. But again, do not call this a first degree carbocation or a second degree carbocation. That's another one of my pet peeves. So we would pronounce this primary carbocation no matter how we choose to write it. The explanation behind increasing stability based on the R groups or alkyl groups that are attached to the positively charged carbon is that these alkyl groups act as if they are the opposite of electronegative. So alkyl groups... We don't have a term for what it means to be the opposite of electronegative. So I can't say that they are, I, I, my instinct is to call them electropositive, which is not a thing. So they are the opposite of electronegative. Remember that being electronegative, like a halogen, like fluorine, being electronegative means that the atom, the electronegative atom, pulls electron density away um, from whatever it's bonded to towards itself. So a carbon-fluorine bond, electron density is pulled towards the fluorine because fluorine is electronegative. Alkyl groups being the opposite of, of electronegative means that they actually push electrons in. So if we have a situation like this, they actually push electron density away from themselves because they're the opposite of electronegative. And so pushing that negatively charged electron density towards the positively charged carbon helps to stabilize the positively charged carbon. It makes it less positive. And the more alkyl groups you have pushing electron density in towards that positively charged carbon, the happier that that carbon gets. And so this is why having an alkyl group increases stability, and the more alkyl groups that you have, the more stable the carbocation becomes.